been to the cinema, Sheridan. Oh, yes, Susie. What did you see? I went to the showroom cinema here in Sheffield. You know, the one in the workstation? Oh, I know. It's the one as you come up from the train station. Yeah, that's it. There's a lovely cafe there as well. I had a Hendo sausage roll. Oh. And what film did you go to see, Susie? It was called Dance First, and it was quite arty, all in black and white. Was the ticket cheaper then, Susie? No, why? Because black and white TV licences used to be cheaper than colour ones. I thought the cinema might be similar. <laughs> no, it was an artistic decision to film it in black and white, I think, Sheridan. Oh, I see. Is the musical Dance First? I like a good musical. No, Sheridan, it's quite a serious film. It's a biopic. A biopic? So what's the film about, Susie? Well, Dance First is about Beckett. Not Thomas Beckett? No. Margaret Beckett, the politician? <laughs> no, Samuel Beckett. Samuel Beckett? Who's he, then? He's an Irish playwright who lived in Paris. It's all about his life. He was part of the French resistance during the Second World War, and then he became famous for writing plays like Waiting for Godot. Waiting for Godot? What's that about, then, Susie? Well, it's about two people waiting at a crossroads for someone who never comes. They wait for hours and hours and nothing happens. Sounds like me waiting for Dolly to come out of the co-op. <laughs> Samuel Beckett also wrote a play called Play, where there are three actors inside huge urns on the stage all the way through it. Oh, I see, that's different. He also wrote Happy Days. Well, I, I think I've seen that one. Wasn't the Fonz in it? <laughs> no, that was the television series Happy Days. This is a stage play where the actress is buried up to her neck in sand. That happened to me in Cleethorpes once. Happy Days is a brilliant play. I think Samuel Beckett wrote minimalist and stream of consciousness plays. Very good. Though I'm not sure it's my cup of tetley, Susie. If nobody on the stage can move about and they're buried up to the neck or stuck in an urn, why didn't Samuel Beckett just write plays for the radio? Then he wouldn't have had to write them in black and white. No, Samuel Beckett didn't write his plays in black and white, Sheridan. This film about his life, Dance First, is in black and white. Oh, yes, I see now. I know what you mean, though. Beckett's plays aren't for everyone, and some people see them as a bit highbrow. But if you give them a chance, they're actually really easy to understand and very funny. They kind of get right to the nub of life. Yes, they sound very different. I'll look out for one and give it a try. I think my only problem with the film, Dance First, is that you're expected to know what kind of plays Samuel Beckett wrote. It doesn't really show you his plays in the film. It might have been a copyright issue. Uh, so if I go and see this film, First Dance... Dance First. It'd be a good idea to look at clips of Samuel Beckett's plays on YouTube before I go. Yeah, that's a good idea. So why is this film called Dance First, Susie? Well, the message of the film is that we should dance first and think later... So we should enjoy ourselves in life above anything else. Sounds like excellent advice to me. Your head's for thinking and your legs are for dancing. And don't try to do it the other way around. Unless you break dancing, of course. Well, thank you very much for your review of the film Dance First, Susie, about the life of Sam Beckett.